well, here is a web browser that I've made. I've ripped some of the graphics from IE7. Um, as you can see at the top there. Got the home, stop, forward and back. And the go button. So first of all, I'll show you the home. That's over there. So you click on it and it takes you to the MSN website you can navigate to the MSN website All right, we can type in a web address or an URL Well, that's opened up a whole new window. I'm not sure why that window opened there. Try that again. Let's open the window then. Oh well. But as you can see, you got the back button now enabled. Turn blue. So if you go back once, it disables, and then this one's enabled, and that one's disabled, and this one's enabled. You can stop the navigation. So if you're loading a large page like Dead Exile, stop the navigation, and it will take you to only what it's loaded up to. Move that backwards. This is about it, really. You can go to my um, video log, watch a video inside the actual web browser. your favorite site YouTube but also if you resize the window it resizes automatically the web browser window I wonder if we can watch any videos let's have a look we just clicked on one Oh my god. What is this rubbish, man? Absolute rubbish. So the good thing about it is it's got a back button, so you can get rid of shit like that. Anyway, this is my web browser. Let's minimise it down a bit. Right, Go back. I mean, you can see like both buttons are enabled now. Forward and back. Right, yeah, this is much more better video than that of one. Okie dokie, that's that done.